Yes. Minerva Tannen. Detective Garson. I don't know if you remember me from that night. Drogues. My last name is Drogues. Yes, I remember you. You were the big-hearted lug who wanted your questions answered while my mother was still warm. Uh, again, I'm, I'm sorry about that night, but it, it is policy that we get the preliminary facts as soon as possible. Sorry. What do you want? I need to ask you a few more questions about your mother's death. All right, come in. Thank you. I know it's stupid as hell to talk to a cop without a lawyer, but I didn't want to look jumpy. In my first real interrogation, I could literally feel something tingle deep inside. Yeah, it's a little early for the prom, isn't it? A girl can dream, can't she? It's perfectly legal, sure. So, uh, anyway, we, uh, we got the preliminary coroner's report. Although the pills rendered your mother unconscious, she died from the carbon monoxide fumes from the exhaust. Is that important? Well, it's, uh, it's just a little unusual for a suicide victim to use two methods. Well, maybe she wanted to drift off before the fumes got her. Yeah. I suppose you're right. We also got the phone records, and there was a 911 call placed at 812. It was a hang-up. Really? Yeah. Any, uh, any idea why your mom might have called 911? Okay, fine. This may be the most exciting thing I've done in a while, but even I know when the rush isn't worth the risk. Listen, Detective, I think you should come back when my father's home. He'll probably be upset that I let a stranger in the house. Yeah, I think you're safe with me. Even so, he won't be happy. Not a problem. So, uh, will he be back tonight? I'll give him a call. Okay, thanks. And you let him in? <laughs>